Wow. Might actually get some filming done this week. Yes, guys, what's happening? We are back here at the new location, which we don't have a catchy name for yet. Um, obviously, we used to play in the Astrodome. The Astrodome, I feel like that was a sick name for a place to go and like, play football. Sounds like a like a proper stadium, whereas this is just Molsham High School sports facility. We're here anyway, and as it stands, the weather isn't horrific. Little bit of rain in the air. Obviously, very, very overcast. Quite cold as well for June. But... All we need is it to stay off for the next 45 minutes and we will have ourselves our first properly recorded game here at this location. You scored a goal last week. Free ball over the top, Steve Locks running onto it. Very, very calmly picks his place and just slots it in the bottom right hand corner. Is this um, a new Steve we're seeing at the new location? It's just, I thought, look, it's what, four? I think, it was, I think it was 4-0 at the time, yeah. Right, come on, this isn't quite safe yet, knowing us. We need one more. <laughs> you need, no one you need you. Up. So I thought, look, I'll, I'll take my own hands. And the fact that their defender decided to give up. Don't put yourself down, Steve. That was all you. It's our second week, second competitive fixture here at the new location. Last week, we had a nice 5-1 win over a much improved Stroke City side, it's got to be said. Um, and that was our first competitive win. Well, first competitive game, actually for about four or five weeks because of other teams not turning up. Um, there was obviously one week where there was a serious injury. Um, and yeah, that was a bit disappointing. But we're back into the league, we're back with a win, and we'll be looking to try and extend that tonight over what is gonna be a very, very tricky side in Ajax Trees Down. Now, obviously, we've never done particularly badly against them. In the dome though, on a much smaller pitch, we could use our physicality. Pace wasn't really something that came into it because there wasn't enough room for people to really open up. On these absolutely massive pitches here, remember, they're three times the size, we've only got one more player. Pace, fitness is gonna come into it a whole lot more. And we are not the fastest, we are not the fittest side whatsoever. So it's almost like we're joining a completely different league. The teams are the same, but at this completely different format, it completely plays into loads of different people's strengths. And unfortunately, probably not ours. And guess who didn't score a goal last week? He hasn't actually scored a goal in any of the weeks. No. But you did come quite close last week. Yeah, well, well I missed from probably three yards out there. Yeah, I've seen, I've seen it on the GoPro, mate. It yeah. wasn't, the GoPro actually makes it look a lot worse than it was, I think. It makes it seem like the angle wasn't as yeah, tight, but... Angle, but I should have scored, really. Well, maybe you can put that right tonight? Yeah, I'll do my best, yeah. So, yeah, tonight, then, is definitely going to be probably the toughest test we've actually had since we've been in this Leisure League's league. Um, I say it's the first time that we've felt going into a game that we could potentially be at a disadvantage. And like I said, that's purely just because of our lack of pace and lack of fitness. Um, which is obviously something that we can work on, that we will work on, but we didn't really need to when we were in the dome because what we were doing was working. Um, whereas now, whole different kettle of fish. So, it's not nice, obviously, to think for a game. We obviously still believe that we can beat them. We know that we can beat them. We've got a game plan to try and beat them. But, it's not gonna be easy. So then guys, let's have a look at the lineup for today's game. We've got Grez in goal back from his injury. We've got Creasy and Steve at the back, Lockwood and Chrissy right there in the middle. Greeno, myself, and Ant's written Gray there. I'm assuming he's meant to say Gary, but it wasn't Gary, it was actually Josh. But Ant was on holiday, he's had a couple, couple of nice weeks in uh, Greece, so we'll let him off for that little error there. But yes, it was Josh, another one of the Templeman clans making another appearance for Mongolian Horses FC tonight. And like I said pre-game, this is going to be a difficult fixture for us against Ajax Trees down. They're young, they're fit, and they're fast, and we are none of those things. So the first action in the game then sees the ball in that far corner with Grez, finding a long ball up top, and he manages to find the head of Greeno, flicks it onto me, and I just can't quite get there. But this is obviously something that wouldn't be possible in the dome at all, the long ball option, which is something that with the big guys up top, we can kind of potentially utilise against the much smaller Ajax Trees down team in this game. But as we see Grez there with getting his sand wedge out, one of the limpest dings forward I've seen and it's led to an Ajax a counter attack and they can come down this right hand side they get the ball across and Grez makes up for it by making a good save at the back post 
the ball at the back with Ajax trees down, then expect them to see a lot of the ball as they play a long ball over the top. And it's a great first touch by this man. Cuts inside. Matt Creasy plays it back to the left. Cuts inside. Chris Wright and Grez has gone down quite early there, but fortunately the ball hits him on the legs and it goes down as a good save. And now we can counter attack the one two between me and Greeno, just about getting on the end of it and trying to cut inside and looking for an option. I've managed to get a little bit of space, get the shot away, but the defender did well to stick for me there and a good block sends it out for a throw in and on the throw and then we've gone long into the box and Matt Creasy getting ahead in it and you don't see a lot of headers in this and mainly because the goals are so small but that was actually very very close there from Matt Creasy getting up from the back as Grez plays the ball out wide to Steve there you can see what Steve thinks about that pass not the face of a happy man. Ajax trees now back on the ball then playing back to their goalkeeper and this is where we really need to press them and try and get in but we're just giving them the time to play the ball and he's picked out a lovely pass down the line hits it early unfortunately for us that's not testing the target he seems to have hurt himself a little bit there as well as we see now a long throw in over the back and that's found one of their man as well but Chris Wright in well to get the ball but he's tried a little Cruyff turn there made up for it there by getting back and making the block that's twice now we've seen mistakes by Mongolian Horses FC players and they've had to do well work really really well to get up and make up for their errors as you see Ajax playing the ball around on the edge of the box and another shot comes in and Ajax getting some decent opportunities but not really testing the goal at the minute as they come forward once more the ball played out to this side first time shot Grez saves it well and he really should have done better on the follow-up there it's got to be said but we get away with another one and it's got to be said in this game as well Alex Lockwood got the time wrong for the kickoff so currently we are just down to one sub and struggling a little bit with the fitness as you can see but we've managed to get on the attack and Matt Creasy does someone down the line looks to get a cross in and he doesn't find himself in the position that much and you can see why an awful cross at the end of it Ajax on the ball now we have got numbers back but they're trying to play some cute little football good interception there from Chris and the ball can come forwards now Steve putting on the pressure lovely little turn there as well from the man very very good feet this guy playing really far back I'm not entirely sure why because he's been a real threat going forwards when we played him before and he plays a little ball inside and good defending there from Matt Creasy this time to start the counter attack as Steve just cuts back and yeah some good defending there so we've not had a lot of the ball and when we defended we have done it well at most as you see Greeno lovely little turn there using his strength field trying to get down the outside Paul this is a uh, Ryan the keeper for stroke titty who got injured a few weeks ago bless him they're hobbling about still getting involved and coming along to all the games which is what we love to see and we wish him a speedy recovery as we see a three-on-one situation now they get the shot away and they've hit the post they're getting a little bit closer here I it's got to be said they definitely had the better chances in this game and we are living life a bit dangerously as the halftime whistle goes now before we get into the second half then just a quick word about our sponsors young minds uk now they are a charity that get involved with young people in the community who suffer with mental health issues and disorders and it's something we feel very passionately about and something very very close to our heart so there are many ways that you can get involved in such a great cause our shirts are available to purchase on our website for 34.99 and every shirt that you do purchase a significant amount of that will go towards young minds uk now if you can't afford that or you don't want a shirt then there are plenty of other ways you can get involved there'll be a link in the description about other ways that you can get involved with the work they do in the community as well as other ways to donate your money every bit would be much appreciated now let's get back to the action let's get into the second half and the first thing he has is a grez a free kick plays it along the floor into the feet of greeno good touch from him playing it out wide to chris wright finding himself out on the left hand side looking for the pass back into greeno he gets the pop shot away deflected and that could have gone anywhere and unlucky there that it's not gone on target and unlucky for ix as well that it nearly nearly went in as the ball comes to me and i get the shot away yeah that one's still traveling i'm pretty sure definitely not one of my best efforts there as we see Grez drop the ball and I think I've seen that somewhere before. It's a shot on his right peg, tries to get one away, Sam Ecott trying to close it down, gets a deflection there, still Mongolian horses but the tackle is one, now Faisal Manji's got it. He sends it down the line, long ball for Ryan Adams, it's not going to cause, oh my god the keeper's dropped it, the keeper has dropped it and it's going to be an easy goal for Hashtag United and Ryan Adams, you're not going to see an easier goal than that in this division I don't think. Oh. 
sorry Grace, but literally any opportunity to show that clip and you know that I will as we see a long ball forward to Alex Lockwood who he's turned up I say he got the got the kickoff time wrong and uh, 10 minutes from the end of the match he's actually managed to find his way onto the pitch so hopefully he can have an impact but the first thing we see is Ajax trees down coming forward down this left hand side cut it across and we know this player is handy gets a shot away on his left foot and a comfortable save for Grez in the end. As you can see, this is where we need to have some, some quick options really so we can hit them back on the counter. It's a throw down the middle, but it's read by the Ajax player. And now coming forward, they've got a three on two situation. Picks the pass out to the left hand side, gets the shot away, and that has to go down as a good save from Grez there with his legs coming out and closing down the angles. But we got away again with giving the ball away at the back there as another long ball goes forward, and that is a great touch by Alex Lockwood coming inside and trying to, well, just seeing if he can have a bit of an impact on the game, getting the ball over to the back stick where Tom Green is waiting. The touch just lets him down though. And now Ajax trees down can come forward. Matt Creasy striding back though to put some pressure on the player and winning the ball. And that's what we love about Matt Creasy. He's the fittest one in the team and he definitely works the hardest as well. As we can come now and some nice football between Greeno and Alex Lockwood as Lockie gets it back, looking for the option, plays it back to Greeno. And what a block that is by the defender. Probably our best chance of the game, it's got to be said. And it was a great block by the Ajax trees down defender managing to get the ball away. And now they can come forward again, unfortunately. It's a sloppy pass and Chris Wright can just mop that. Oh, that looks a bit dangerous, but Greg's read that well and managed to get to it first. And from the resulting throw in, Ajax trees down come forward again and they shoot from distance. And a good save there from Grez, but you'd expect him to make a save from that far out in this size goal. As the ball comes down the line to Green, that's a great first touch and a lovely little dink over the top. And Alex Lockwood, it's nowhere near the goal. We see him so many times trying to take that shot on first time. And sometimes I just wish he'd just take a touch and then uh, yeah, have a have a better shot on target really, but can't blame him there for wanting a bit of a go. And Steve Locke, some great tenacity from him as well to get back a couple of times there, robbing the player of the ball when he sets us away on a counter attack again with Alex Lockwood, but it's blown by the ref's whistle for going out of play. Closing in on the end of this game now, and it's still a stalemate at nil-nil. But Chris Wright nipping in well there and getting the ball and taking the shot on, and he's never scored for us in an MHFC shirt yet, and that really shows why I probably had better options there. But he earned that shot by making the tackle in the first place, and this is where we really see him come to the fore, coming back, getting the tackle in, and winning the ball and now he can come forward with it again I've got to say he played all 30 minutes in this game as well and really really good fitness from him and he's really really showing, showing well just his quality that he had before his big injury and it's an honour that we can let him in back in the side just as a path back to playing more regular football and we can see him really enjoying himself on the sidelines and great strength again from Green I get the ball away and he can't just quite find the pass inside to Lockie a corner ball then for Ajax in the dying minutes and Greeno defending well and getting it away but it comes straight back to an Ajax player looking for their little tricky man on the edge of the box it's not the best first touch but there's not really any pressure on him me coming in now and trying to double up on him but he's still wiggling away and evading the tackle in the end it's a bit of a poor shot and that doesn't trouble Grez in goal so literally seconds left in this game now and we see Lockie putting a bit of pressure on the goalkeeper he does manage to get the pass away though down the line and if the camera just catches back up it falls to me finding Lockie he's got a few yards of space in him and the ball's on in the middle and he's just tried to take it around the man and I say that's got to be three or four times now in this game we've had the option to square it and we've just not used that man and uh, yeah that could have been the reason for us not finding the goal you find two on one in that situation you can see I did manage to get the tackle one in that situation and that will be the end of the game so I finished nil nil the first time we've had a nil nil draw ever um, and yeah First time we not scored a goal, but we didn't concede a goal as well. So we'll take a point from that game, and we knew it was going to be tricky. As you can see, the other results there as well. Some a comfortable win for Spaceman, sneaky win for Snoozemia over Bohemians, and that leaves the table like this. Still two points behind FC Snoozemia, but we do manage to keep that one point lead over Ajax Tree down, and we'll be eyeing up. We've got a difficult game against Spaceman next week, and then after that, it's the big one against FC Snoozemia.